Welcome to the homework for grade three, module one, lesson six. I try to keep my video short, so if I'm rushing it, and I'm probably gonna have to on this one, please pause the video or go back over the parts you want to see again, and feel free to skip ahead as well. Don't forget to write your name. You wanna get credit for all the work you're doing. Mr. Hannigan puts 12 pencils into boxes, and each, each box holds four pencils. Circle groups of four to show the pencils in each box. So we've got one, two, three, four pencils here. Circle them. One, two, three, four pencils here. Circle them. One, two, three, four pencils here. Circle them. Mr. Hannigan needs one, two, three, three boxes. And now this is the missing factor in a multiplication equation right here. That's the missing factor. And then we need, and it's going to be the same as the quotient in our division equation there. Number two, Mr. Hannigan, again, he's placing 12 pencils into three equal groups. Draw to show how many pencils are in each group. So we've got three equal groups. I'm gonna, we know there's three equal groups. I'm going to start with what we know. That's three equal groups. Three groups. They're going to be equal. So to make them equal, I'm going to draw the 12 pencils one at a time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm stopping at 12 because there are only 12 pencils. They all have the same. There's three equal groups. There's four pencils in each group. And here's our missing factor, or unknown factor in the multiplication equation. And it's the same as our quotient here in our division equation. It's four pencils. And now we have uh, use an array <coughs> to model problem one. Let's go back to problem one and look at it. Here it is. He put 12 pencils into boxes. and each box holds four pencils. So our array is going to look like this. We're going to have four pencils. There's a box. So each row is going to be a box for our array. And that's, remember, we got to have three boxes, right? So there's three rows. And there's four in each box, so there's four in each row. And there's three rows, so it's three. That's our missing factor. And it's also our quotient and the number in the blanks these are the blanks right here represents how many boxes how many boxes there are and now we're looking at B three times now the missing factor is four <coughs> and our quotient also is Four. We're still working with 3, 4, and 12 because it's the same array. It's the same array for both of them. Now we're looking at the fours, right? The number in each blanks is the fours. The fours are how many pencils? Are in each box. Problem four, next page, top of the next page, second page. Judy washes 24 dishes. She then dries and stacks the dishes equally into four piles. How many dishes are in each pile? So we've got 24 dishes. We know there's four piles. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sorry, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 8, 8, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's 24. And you can see that there's a five group. Right, a five group and one more. That's six in each 
pile of dishes. So that's our quotient. And here's also the same quotient, same thing as a missing factor in multiplication. What's the meaning of the unknown factor in quotient? It's how many dishes. in each pile. It's not how many dishes, because how many dishes? There's 24 dishes, so that, that's not what the 6 is. Number 5, Nate solves the equation something times 5 equals 15. We have a missing factor. And then uh, he does it by writing and solving 15 divided by 5 equals and we have a quotient that's missing there. Explain why Nate's method works. All right, so we, we, we have groups of five here. If we're looking at the, un, the missing factor problem, we've got, we've got a, uh, an unknown number of groups, but there's five in each group. So if we do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, there's 15. So that's three groups of five, just to look at that picture and have a picture of it. And it's the same as 15 divided by five in each group is three groups. And that's your quotient. Well, why does this work? It works because either way, either way, There are, you have the same number of equal groups and the same number in each group. There are the same number of groups same number of groups and equal groups. Ooh, you got to have that equal groups. Maybe you'll do better and get that right the first time there. Not leave it out. Now, the same number of equal groups and 5 uh, in each group. And if you want to get all the points for this, you can also add that um, a missing, you want to use your math vocabulary here, a missing factor equals a quotient. All right, and then finally number six, Sorry for my messy handwriting, but it's the best I can do with this. Uh, number six, the blanks in problem five. So that's what these blanks are right here, the blanks in problem five. Those are the threes, right? Those would be threes, threes. Represent the number of groups, right? Because we had, in our picture, we had one, two, three groups. That's the, th that's the number of groups. Draw an array to represent the equation. So here's the array. We have three groups of five, so that means we're going to have <coughs> five as the number of groups, so that's going to be our number of rows. One, two, three, four, five, and each row is going to have five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and there's our array. Just make sure your array has rows and columns, and it looks like an array. And then we're done.